Hey guys, Bullet Shooter here. So, um, now that we're done with the Raw Soldier and Dominic stuff, um, it's about time we get into the things. Um, at this point, I have not recorded the prequels or the sequels to Star Wars um, or the original series because the thing is, um, I am like, I think I just finished. Yeah, I just finished episode two. Um, a while ago, but uh, I had I had to make sure things were getting done prior. So right now it's just um, those two videos I have to worry about. Um, but since I do have a little bit more time, I'll probably be able to do it um, after this. But anyhow, we're doing um, at Dead of the Night. If you guys don't know, this is a UK horror horror game that's basically you search around, find items, and it's like basically a mystery where you try to. Um, put the things together, but it has like a phasmophobia thing where basically you can communicate with um, Ghosts from the hotel so basically this is like a seaside hotel um, It's kind of confusing um, there's only one thing that I'm very confused about that um, You guys don't know until the, like the credits um, but anyhow at the beginning, um, Hart, uh, Hugo the Great was a great magician that bought a the hotel that you're playing in um, to to uh, basically go, uh, to green light his uh, his magician act, and a lot of people came for it. Um, he had, his assistant was Rose. Um, during it, he they ended up getting married. Um, because they end up hitting it off and all that. Um, because she, she fell in love with them and all that. And, basically, uh, after it, they start, he's, uh, Rose starts noticing that Hugo actually has a dark humor to him. He's, he's actually very dark personality. Um, Hugo the Great is kind of like a, uh, it's a mask to hide who he really is. Um, she thinks that there's something wrong with him and that there's something happening. Um, so she so she gets pregnant with uh, Jimmy, who is the main antagonist of the, of the game. Um, also, if you guys don't know what it is, go check out Daco and 8-Bit Gaming. 8-Bit Ryan. They, they, they are like the two main um, content creators I know that are doing it right now. But anyhow, Jimmy is born, um, and Hugo actually shows that it, it's not anything, it's just who he is, um, by abusing Jimmy until he was two years old. All the way from newborn to two years old, he abused Jimmy. Um, but Rose couldn't take it anymore, ends up killing and hiding his body in a room off-site. Um, and then... Basically, she raises Jimmy um, without Hugo. But here's the thing that's very confusing. Um, during this this time, it's either the brother or um, Rose remarries Harvey. Why this is confusing? Because at the credits, they show Harvey as Harvey Hall. Um... And, uh, also you guys do know that, also Rose is Rose Hall and Jimmy is R Jimmy R Hall. So it's like, it seems like early in Jimmy's life, either Harvey is the brother of Rose or the new husband. And, you know, it's just Jimmy takes his last name or takes his mother's maiden name. Um, but anyhow... Uh, Harvey becomes the new owner after, you know, Hugo dies. Um, Jimmy, uh, grows up to become an employee there, but because of his father's, um, torment, um, towards him, he's kind of twisted a little bit. He kind of is special. Uh, Rose kind of tries to help him out and all that. Um, and then, uh... He starts acting out um, after he starts calling himself Hugo Punch. So he names his a new uh, comedy act um, using the same stage his father does by using his father's um, 
first name, which I'm going to go ahead and say a theory that he probably likes, he used, he, he's seen, um, because Hugo the Great, his father, was on television, so he probably got to see some re-airings of his father's magician act. He liked it, so he used the name Hugo, um, and called himself Hugo Punch, as in Punch Line, um, and that was his comedy act. He started getting people coming in. Oh, my food's coming, so I gotta kinda make this quick. Um, people start coming in, and then, it's, here's the thing, either his father, um, his spirit takes over, or he kind of made it to where um, Jimmy uh, gets a split personality to follow in his f father's footsteps. And Hugo Punch is the alternate um, um, alter ego, and he's more demented, more... Um, He's more dark than, than uh, Jimmy. Jimmy is the innocent personality, the special person, where Hugo Punch is the person who, uh, he's the amazing comedian, but he also is very, very uh, demented. Um, and he starts making it to where people don't want to watch it anymore because he basically starts doing something towards the audience that makes people walk away. Um... He gets a physician. Uh, he gets a psychiatrist, Doctor Bose, um, to try to help him. Uh, he starts, you know. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a timeline. So Doctor Bose, he start. He tries to help him the best he can, but he is so far away um, that he starts. Uh, that Jimmy. Jimmy actually starts framing Doctor Bose for things he didn't do, which actually ends up having Dr. Bose in jail, but because of this, that, that jail time on his permanent record, he no longer can have a job anywhere, so he ends up killing himself, um, inside the hotel to kind of make a bad name for the hotel, um, so no one goes there. Um, during that point in time, Jimmy also thinks it's funny to torment a little girl, um, and forces her to do things. This is, uh, this is a, this is Amy Bell, um, she's the daughter of one of the customers, and she ends up, uh, getting drunk, and she ends up dropping, dropping down the staircase to her death. Um, so, Dr. Bose kills himself after he has nothing left in his life. Amy is just, um, uh, persuaded into doing, uh, getting, doing something she didn't want, also getting tormented by Jimmy, and then ends up getting drunk to fall to her death. Um, Harvey, he ends up playing cruel jokes on him. He, he makes it to where, um, Harvey is just, he, he gets angry because these things, these pranks and all this, like, there, there's a generator that explodes and all that, and he gets angry at Jimmy to where he actually just wants to threaten to kill Jimmy. Um, and before he can do anything in his blind rage, Jimmy ends up just killing him, which, um makes, uh, Harvey the first victim, uh, to Jimmy, um, but here's the thing, is that, uh, with all this done, finally Rose, um, thinking she failed, Jimmy kills herself, um, by burning herself alive, um, so, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, and all that, Jimmy becomes, like, the sole employee and proprietor of the hotel, and anyone who comes in, um, he ends up bonking out of existence until Maya, who is the main character of the game you play as, to find all the clues and all the visions and all that, um... Jimmy's like the nice person. He he does still has his comedy act, but people normally turn it down. Um, but he, then he gets angry and becomes Hugo Punch, and he goes and um, he captures all of Maya's friends and locks and deadlocks them inside a um, a room on each on one of the floors. Uh, Maya goes around collecting all the clues of all the deaths of Amy, Harvey, um, Doctor Bose, and Rose. 
finds out what ha- what Jimmy did and what what made to his downfall, what happened with the great for Hugo the Great. Um, once he knows it, basically uh, Jimmy ends up showing that Hugo is the only one in uh, power anymore, and uh, he basically explains that the Halls is kind of cursed to do this. Um, that that actually makes a third way. Maybe uh, Harvey's like the brother to Hugo the Great, and that's why he uh, pops in to help, you know, his stepsister. So basically, Harvey can be the brother to um, Rose or Hugo the Great, or be the new husband to Rose. So this is kind of hard. I, I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably the uh, he's probably the brother to Hugo the Great and takes over the hotel. But anyhow. Um, he shows that the Halls are kind of cursed to do this kind of thing with this alternate personality that goes into cruelty and dimension. And basically, Maya is supposed to be the Rose position for Jimmy. Um, he also uncovers the body of where Hugo the Great was covered, the secret room. And he basically is going to kill Maya if he, she doesn't, uh, comply, which she doesn't. And she goes to try to, uh, she finds the keys to the rooms, uh to her friends, um, rescues them all, escapes it, um, and at the very end you see Jimmy basically being like, uh, you need to leave them alone, but Hugo punches like, guess what, you're not in power anymore, I'm fully in control, you can go somewhere. And basically the whole word is, um, Basically, no matter who you are, you have a dark personality that normally comes out in the dead of night, known as the game, and is like, I'm like the one that can actually do stuff where your your morals and mentality don't get things done, and your dark persona basically is like a reflection of you, um, and we all have a, like a darkness inside us, um, but anyhow... Um, time to, I think it's time to break down, um, during the game. So, in the game, uh, you get a spirit box that Jimmy holds on to, which is basically how the way he, he hears all the voices from, from, from all his, uh, past. Um, and then there's mirrors and, uh, compasses that kind of tell you where all the spiritual energy and all that is. Um, so, in the basement... Um, you get to meet Amy using the child's purse. It re- uh, v- reveals that Jimmy stole Amy's stuff to kind of be, to make her compelled to go to Jimmy. And he kind of sees this cool joke. It's funny that I'm stealing stuff, making you kind of concerned that your stuff is getting um, taken. Um, he takes her teddy bear, um... And with a turpentine and lighter, um, you see her uh, complaining to Jimmy. Basically, Jimmy uses the turpentine and lighter to light her teddy bear on fire to burn it. Um, 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 she's also scarred because she got hold of the toy, so her arms are kind of hard. Um... Um, Jimmy uses the sword to threaten Amy to stick around, um, and also to drink the alcohol, which is the whiskey bottles, um, and that's what she drinks, um, and this leads to you finding her at the top of the stairs, and then you find her at the bottom of the stairs dead, and that's the end of her story. Uh, Dr. Bose, um, he finds the violent drawings, which is basically... Um, what Jimmy writes, he see that's the that's his clue in to see that Jimmy is kind of demented. He kind of is like try to do something nice, Jimmy. Um, and the chef's hat tells tells you that Jimmy was going to go cook for Doctor Bose to be nice. Um, you find a blood uh, stained cloth, which is basically you realize that um, 
the chef's hat basically was going to show that he was cooking for Dr. Bose, but Dr. Uh, Bose finds out that there was glass for Jimmy's prank on him. Um, so there's glass in the sandwich. Dr. Bose eats it. He, he almost chokes on, on, on the blood in the glass. So he keeps the gla glass in the blooded cloth to show in case he wanted to keep going. And he sees that's the humor of Jimmy. Uh, and he tries to do a uh, last minute decision to give him meds, which is the diazepam. And he tries to inject Jimmy with it, which Jimmy ends up running around and telling Rose, his mother, about it. And she is about to call the police, but then, um, he does, uh, t uh get Rose to, uh, understand that it wasn't him, um, and then the wooden paddle, uh, basically, uh, Jimmy, uh, tells Rose that Dr. Bose was gonna use it on him, um, to, to frame him again, and, he, he gets out of it, and then uh, Jimmy makes a scrapbook, which you can find. It's like a whole bunch of newsletter, news scraps and all that together, um, to frame Dr. Bose with it. Um, and uh, basically with that scrapbook, um, Rose calls um, the police... Um, when Dr. Bose gets out, he uses, he tries a washing line, but he has to use something stronger to put in an elevator to hang himself. Um, that's the end of Dr. Bose. Um, first is Harvey. Um, find his, the scrapbook is also used for Harvey because, um, Harvey notices the, what the scraps are made out of, and he knows every single story from them. And he, he goes and tries to tell Rose that he's lying. Jimmy is lying. He goes to Rose with it. Um, and then he confronts Jimmy with it. Because of this, he thinks he pu pushed Jimmy into a corner. But really, um, you find the dangerous heater. This is the prank on Harvey by making that dangerous heater almost uh, um, injuring or killing him. Um, hold on. Sorry guys, I had food come in. So anyhow, back to it. Um, so Hardy owns the sports bats. He's uh, he's basically like I keep them in case. Um, anyhow, Hardy tries to use the bat on it, but uh, Jimmy does have a trap um, with the crossbow. Um, the crossbow was actually just a uh, display with a whole bunch of classic weapons. Um, same with the sword. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so the rusty keys are basically... Uh, those were Harvey's keys for the basement. Um, Harvey uh, tricks Jimmy into the basement and he... Um, Locks Jimmy in there to teach him a lesson. He thinks Jimmy can't do anything while he's in there, but Jimmy actually uh, puts things on fire, which uh, which is the picture of the fire in the hotel. Um, and this damages a whole bunch of photos and all that, losing a lot of older stuff. Um, next is a handgun. This is basically Harvey's gun, which was already loaded, um, and basically it was him threatening Harvey. I mean, heart, uh, threatening Jimmy. And the dagger is actually not a dagger at all. It's a uh, letter opener that Jimmy sharpened to slice uh, Harvey's throat. Um, and that's it for those. Next is... Uh, trying to see. Um, so first you... Uh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to find all the stuff. Wait. So you meet Ro. Uh, you meet Amy by her com um, telling Jimmy to give back her stuff and that you shouldn't take stuff. Uh, you meet Doctor Bose um, by him knocking on the door to be like, "Jimmy, I need to talk to you." Basically, 
Um, Harvey, he's screaming in the room to Jimmy um, for framing Dr. Bose. Don't you dare do that. And then Rose uh, is explaining the, uh, the death of Harvey with the letter opening saying, it's just a letter opener, and it was in self-defense, and Jimmy got away with that. Um, anyhow, um, the first thing you do for Rose's story is the Hugo Punch poster uh, showing his comedy act, and basically she explains this, that this was the beginning of the hotel. Basically, Rose, uh, Amy Harvey and... Uh, trying to think. Amy... Uh, Harvey and uh, Dr. Bose are kind of like a middle story um, where like Rose actually explains the beginning and the close to end of the story. Uh, but anyhow, the poster showing uh, the axe. Um, Jimmy knows that he has an alternate personality so he starts being angry at the mirror and he punches it, punches it that explains the um, broken mirrors. Um, um, Rose starts learning something's wrong when she notices mannequins with Jimmy's face on them. Um, there's a coil of wire. This is just basically the end of the, uh, Hugo Punk error, punch error, because the coil of wire is basically Jimmy, uh, captured a guest and, um, was gonna do something, but Rose, uh, and he tied her with the coil of wire to a chair, and Rose saved her. Um, and uh, people were getting upset. Um, the media got a hold of the fact that Jimmy's doing all this, so the media is coming in, knocking on the door. Um, Jimmy, no, uh, Jimmy's good side kind of noticed that his evil side is doing this. And he writes a goodbye suicide letter to Rose, and he goes to go uh, drown himself. And Rose goes, notices notices what Jimmy's trying to do, and uh, she has explained everything, which, when you see Hugo the Great on stage, this is the, um, putting things together that, um, she explains that Hugo the Great was, uh, the previous owner of the hotel and that she was the assistant and that they were more um the wedding ring explains that they got married um the baby rattle means they got a baby um next was the birth certificate of jimmy's um this explains that you, your father is hugo the strange um and i'm your mother um and this makes jimmy go over the edge and makes Basically, the Hugo Punch, the main controller. Um, I'm trying to see this. So, oh, yeah. So, it, um, it shows Rose attacking um, Hugo. And, uh, basically, um, with the turpentine and lighter, she lights herself on fire. And this ends her. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Um, the last things is just, like, the entire story. But anyway, that's explaining the items, explaining the story, explaining the timeline. But anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.